Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today I want to do a quick chat about um, building yourself an exercise library with progressions and regressions. And I think this is something that's helped me uh, massively with my coaching because whenever I put like pen to paper or I write it down, um, it really allows me to explore my philosophy and my systems and what I truly believe in in coaching. Uh, what I've done is with all my different exercises, it doesn't matter, I'm going to show you some examples in a second, but it doesn't matter if it's a, um, if a squat through to um, some sprint drills, I created a progression or regression chain of all the different um, movements so that when I'm coaching someone, I have a clear path of where I'm trying to go to, um, if I'm trying to make it more complex or if I need to simplify for them to get um, towards their training goal. Now, hopefully you can see this. The whiteboard's not the, uh, the best thing going, going around, but hopefully this uh, does the job. But for example, you might get someone that's come in has never squatted ever before. And you might have to start off with a basic squat to a box. And from there we may progress to a, a goblet squat. And from there we may, we may progress to a two kettlebells up here, front rack squat, to a front squat, to a back squat. Um, and if you have need an effort to be explosive, we might even progress that to like a quarter squat or a squat with bands. But I always see people just come in and try and back squat a client straight up, and it's not where we start. So doing this allows you to have um, progressions, as I, was, as I was discussing before. It's the same with your age groups. You go from A march to an A skip to an A run, okay? And then you can, we can you know, make some more complex with think exercises like booms, boom booms, triple booms, where we're getting switching uh, in the air. And we can even make this more complex by having hands across your shoulders, zombie arms. We can put um, poles and use them above our head to make it harder, okay? Box jumps, we, we might start with a box jump for our vertical jump. Then we, from there, we may go to a hurdle hop with a stick. Then we may do a hurdle hop with a double tap. Then we may do a just a normal hurdle hop. And then we may progress that from a hurdle hop from a depth jump. And from there we can add complexity by making it more variable. You might have a low hurdle, a high hurdle, a medium hurdle, different different uh, distances. Okay, so we've got some variability within our training. And then the last one we'll go through is just like a basic thing, like you've got a shuffle pattern in your agility. You may have a shuffle into a double shuffle, to a double shuffle and return. We may then make this more complex and open to a mirror drill. And we can make this more open and complex with a one versus one, two versus two. We may add a football or a ball to make it more complex, okay? But as you can see, I've, I've done this to basically give myself um, a nice uh, path of where I want my athletes to go. And one thing I do is with the basic strength movements, if my, if my client can't get the exercise and a couple of cues, and it's taken me too long, I regress them straight away, okay? I want them to hit it, and once they can hit it, we, we do it for a few weeks, then we progress it, okay? But if it's taken me half an hour to try and teach something, it's not the right exercise, you've got to regress that. And then with your coordination exercises and things like that, you know, it doesn't matter if they fail, you, want to, you still want them to be able to do it, but as Franz Bosch says, you know, if they can fail up to 30% of the time, it's going to promote learning um, and make people more coordinated, hopefully, down the future. So, make it, there's different ways of, to progress things. But I hope this, um, this helps, gives you a few ideas. Get your pen to paper um, and start writing because that's something that I really felt helped with my, my coaching. I hope it helps you too.